Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, uh, we're going to continue working on our favorites viewer application. Now before we get started, I just want to give full, full credit to the authors of Beginning Microsoft Visual Basic 2008. Um, the authors are Theron Willis and Brian Newsom. They created this great program and I'm teaching you guys um, how it works and how you can make it yourself. So. In the last tutorial, we created our web favorites collection. So we need to come over here to my project, or not my project, favorites viewer YouTube, and let's add a class. So we'll set the class name to favorites. So what this class is going to do is it's going to go through our favorites folder and it's going to find all of the favorites and it's going to give us back a collection of a web favorite collection and it's going to hold each one of our favorites and those are going to be of object type web web favorite so what we need to do um, is let's implement i disposable so that we can dispose of our objects when we're done so let's go ahead and minimize out of this region right here and we'll start adding our code so we need to create a an object of our web favorite collection so we'll type public favorites collection as web favorite collection so you can see that we didn't use the new keyword because we don't want to create a new instance of web favorite collection we're going to be assigning this right here to other web favorite collections later on okay so now what we need to do is we need to add a property uh, that will get our favorites folder it'll find it based on what machine we're on so we'll make it read only because we don't need to write um, and change the favorites folder so public read only property favorites folder as a string so when we press enter it's going to add our git for us now what we want to do is we want to give back the path of the favorites folder. So what we're going to do is type environment dot get folder path. So we're going to be getting the folder path of our favorites. Now how are we going to find favorites? Well what we can do is type environment dot special folder dot favorites. So I can continue to mouse down here um, and you can see that here is favorites right down here. So I can just press tab and that'll fill that in for us so it's going to get the folder path of the favorites so now that we're done with this property right here let's come down below it and we need to create a method so we'll call it public sub scan favorites now this is not going to take any arguments because we don't need anything to do this so whenever we scan the favorites what we want to do is call scan favorites and we'll use favorites folder now this is going to return an error right now because scan favorites has not been created yet or let's see well it has been created right here but we're gonna make, we're gonna make um, another version of it that's gonna overload it and let's see here too many arguments to public sub scan favorites. Now the reason we're getting this error is because there's no arguments right here. So we need what we need to do is type public sub scan favorites. And for this, we're going to need an argument of folder name as string. So whenever we create duplicate um, methods, what it's going to do is it's going to allow the developer or user to call either one of those. So if they call just scan favorites um, with no arguments, all it's going to do is it's going to scan the favorites folder. But they can also call scan favorites and then add their own arguments in there to find the specified favorites folder. So either one of these will work. Um, and we can make as many duplicates as we want with different arguments in them. So if our favorites collection um, variable hasn't been uh, in it, initialized yet then we need to go ahead and create it so here's favorites collection right here so 
we'll use an if statement. So if favorites collection is nothing, then what do we want to do? So we're saying if favorites collection is equal to null for all of you um, developers who've used another language. So if it's nothing and there's nothing in it and it's not equal to anything, then we need to set it equal to something. So favorites collection is going to be equal to a new web favorite collection. And that is the reason we didn't create a new instance of this up here is because whenever they scan favorites, it's going to change that and set it equal to a new web favorite collection. Now web favorite collection is just the list that's going to hold all of our favorites. So let's go ahead and come down below this end if. And now what we need to do is we need to go through each file in the folder and find our favorites. So we'll use a for each loop. And we're just going to call string file as string in my dot computer dot file system dot get files and then folder name. So what this is going to do is it's going to get each file in this um, folder name directory right here which is what's passed to this uh, method. So for each of the files inside of this directory that has been passed we want to go ahead and try to find the favorites file in there. Now the favorites file end with dot URL. So we can just use an if statement to see if the file ends with dot URL. So we can just use if string file dot ends with and ends with is part of string so we can check to see um, if it ends with something. So if it ends with dot URL and comparison type so if that's true and the culture is nothing. And it says it determines whether the end of the string instance matches the specified string when compared using the specified culture. So culture could be the language of the program. Um, you don't really have to know what that is right now because you're probably going to be working with English. Um, so it's not that big of a deal unless you plan on releasing your program to other countries. So thanks for watching this tutorial. Um, put in this code if you haven't already. Um, if, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And then in the next tutorial, we're going to be filling in this if statement right here.